Hello and welcome. I am Victoria and this is my true story about learning Spanish language. Who's new here? Check my Spanish resources video because this video is related to that video and link would be in description box below. In this video I will discuss some problems, what I did right and wrong doing this or that. And let's learn from my mistakes. I started with a dedicated resources, with a great motivation, with a lot of different things that should help a person to learn something. I started to learn grammar. The red book about Spanish grammar, it just was too hard for my zero level. But I found SpanishLearning.com website check it in that video. All resources that I'm mentioning here, I'm mentioning in that video also. I started to make my way through this Spanish story like step by step, uh, like learning from different little things, but it was too boring. Like, literally, it was very boring. Then I thought that YouTube videos would be great and it was too long, too many information and it was terrible because my inner procrastinator won this race. Because when you're watching, like, top thousand words after three minutes you would be like so exhausted because you can't remember that word and still every few seconds you have a new word that you should memorize and that's ah that's just ugly then i discovered duolingo and um my idea was that i will pick some words maybe phrases and then it would help me to understand more to live to learn something and it was playful and i spent a few months in this program but what a problem with duolingo um from the start it's so easy but there are a lot of repetitive tasks. There are a lot of repetitive words. You are not learning a lot, but you are repeating, repeating and repeating and repeating because you won't have access to other level if you won't uh, repeat this or that uh, like uh, 10 times, 20 times. And it's kind of time consuming. Um, at that time, I was like, I would be doing this every day, every day. And what I have here, I'm exhausted after a few months. And I even can't think about learning something. I'm not uh, speaking about uh, Spanish, I'm speaking about something as a program, as a... Um, something. I don't know, I even didn't want to try to read something like a book or I didn't want to watch TV show. It, I was just completely exhausted by this app. And at the same time, I was still without any knowledge. But let's return a little bit backwards. I had another way to learn Spanish. It's Spanish books and TV shows. <clears throat> With Spanish books, it was 
not so easy to find Spanish book like some sort of a free ebook to try it and I just uh, thought that ebook and reading would be tough for me then I just decided that Netflix is great like my way and I started to watch El Dragon and I started to watch Elite and I watched it like a lit it was too hard like literally I watched it for 15 to 20 minutes and then I realized that I need English variant with English subtitles and even then I just switched to my native language because it was complicated like literally it was so complicated and I can say that in my native language I realized that it's not a problem with languages it's a problem with this TV show it's just complicated be careful with TV shows but a dragon here I spent like a two series two episodes yeah and it was tough and I just realized that mostly I don't understand what they are saying because it's it just like this when you are trying to read something you are googling it you are doing all nitty-gritty things you are searching for some rules and you still can't explain what they are saying you even have some thoughts that they may be saying this but you don't know maybe they are saying something else and I had this exhausting thing in my mind that I don't I don't want to translate it I don't want to google it I don't want I just don't want it and I stick to Duolingo that I already mentioned I am still hoping that I will go and sit and find ideal way to learn Spanish more or less quickly but for now I have a huge list what I should learn from me I can say that my expectation about learning few words to learn a little bit grammar it's not right you just need to dedicate just one day to learn what you can learn I mean some basic words and no more then you should find some grammar but it shouldn't be like feminine masculine thing or um, numbers because this is my mistake I took inside this information and I oversaturated my mind with these little things yeah it's important to know numbers know these rules but what I can say for you to save your time just one day for words one day for these little nitty-gritty things like feminine numbers don't try to memorize all of this don't just you can create your list of resources you can have your notebook digital or in paper and do some notes here but you just need to know that you can access this information you don't need to memorize it because my problem was 
I tried to memorize it slowed down me like a lot because if I didn't know like seven or eight number I just thought that I need to review this all all of this information and this is just not true because you don't need to review all information and memorize and spend so much time you just need to dedicate some amount of time to read it and then just know that it is exist and the most crucial thing you should at least on your third day find real grammar like present tense past tense all of these nitty gritty things you don't need you should have like understanding of this sentence how people position words because it was my problem I understand word but I have no idea how people position these words and how they are changing and changes of meaning of this sentence if you understand what I mean <laughs> and as a result after some sort of struggles after this creative journey and I hope I'll continue it I can say that I can understand some dialogues not uh, a lot of it just some simple uh, words, some hello, bye, and uh, that's all. I can understand when someone introducing yourself. I can introduce myself. I can say lo siento and other little things like this. And that's all for now. But when I'm watching some movies, some TV shows, I understand some words and this is strange feeling for me. But understanding of this information is not going to make you so superhero that you would go and pass a test for Spanish. Like, what this mean? A1? Yeah, something like this. This first level. You won't go and pass it. Because you need this grammar. Because tests is grammar. And why I am saying it? Because I was so happy that I understand some words. I took this test, online test. And uh, it was terrible. I was like, oh my gosh, what I am doing, what they want from me. And yeah, it's kind of frustrating because it's kind of cool that I understand some parts and at the same time I don't have enough knowledge to pass like a first level of knowing a language. <laughs> I hope this video would be helpful for you and you won't do the same mistakes that I did. And also, all of this I did for like three months. I did it for this period of time with Duolingo, with this Spanish learning site, with YouTube videos, but that's all that I have here. because. My way of doing it, of starting in doing it, it was not so results oriented, but it was like a playful way to introduce myself to this language. Okay, if there would be any updates, I will create some other posts or videos for you. If you have some questions, if you want to speak with me and all of this, 
leave comments below, like this video if you like this video. <clears throat> Strange, but I would be very happy. <laughs> and subscribe if you like my face, like my voice, or like this information. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye-bye!